We got Chef. Oh God. Nanny. Oh my God, no one said that. <laughs> I'm and I'm Langston. And this is Earth's Mightiest Show. Where we talk about all the cool stuff <laughs> in the universe. And this week, the cast of Marvel's Jessica Jones is on the purple carpet where they reveal their thoughts on what Jessica might be doing if she weren't a PI. And we are also celebrating 100 episodes of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with cast member Jeff Ward. Yeah. That and a lot more coming up, but first, Wolverine has a brand new podcast yeah. out of his basement. That's not no, true. I'm sorry. It, it's actually in a Lower East Side apartment. It's very affordable. Actually, it's going to be a talk show, late night talk show called Clock Talk. <laughs> no, no. What? Okay, that's all lies. Awesome lies, but lies. <laughs> uh, Marvel's Wolverine The Long Night is Marvel's first narrative podcast, and it's now available on Stitcher Premium. The story kicks off with a string of mysterious deaths in Burns, Alaska. There are two special agents that are sent in to investigate, and spoilers, somewhere in there, somebody's going to meet Wolverine. Yeah, you're going to see, you're gonna see some some, some hair and some, and some claw, claws and stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the show also has a fabulous cast, including The Hobbit's Richard Armitage as Wolverine, with Celia Keenan Bolger, Otto Asando, Scott Adsit, and Brian Stokes Mitchell. Heck yeah, such a good cast. And we actually have a little clip for you guys to get a preview right now. So I, I was worming my way up a ridge and glass in the meadow below. And the wolves are fading in and out of sight. And that's when I saw him. A man. He's crouched low and he's running with the wolves. And he stared right at me. Oh, that was so cool. Like, yeah. what's happening? What's <laughs> happening? Uh, that was awesome, right? <laughs> it was great. No, I was in it. I was, thank you for, you shook me out of my I know, well, because you podcast. do get caught up in the reality that you're listening to because you kind of feel like you're in it. No, the sound is so well done. Like, you feel like people are next to you or behind you or in front of you. You can feel where people are in the room. Which is it's kind of great. freaky because it's kind of got, like, a horror, like, intense vibe to it. Sort so of, you feel like you're really... Yeah, it will feel like someone is about, Gonna get you. <laughs> is gonna get you. Gonna get you. Uh, <laughs> that's... Someone might. Oh, oh, I, I don't think that's how this podcast works, but there is going to be actually a new accompanying podcast called The Marvel After Show that you guys can listen to uh, every week to break down the episodes and get into that on Stitcher Premium. Yeah, there's so much good stuff out right now. Now, have you started watching Marvel's Jessica Jones yet? I have, I have. It's great. I love it. I just, <laughs> I'm watching them, like, I, I kind of like to go slow because otherwise I forget too much of it. So I, I got to, like, that. do a couple at a time. Mm -hmm. I watch one episode, I get all my, my theories in my brain and form some opinions. That strong I, that opinions. Strong opinions <laughs> that are dashed against the rocks and uh, later on when I find out how wrong all my theories are. Oh, oh. But I do like that there are so many female directors. I like feel that woman vibe. It's Women's History Month. I'm feeling it. And no, it's the best thing in the world. Now, as promised, Punch. here is some of those amazing ladies and the glamour from the world premiere mm. of Marvel's Jessica Jones Season 2. Hey, I'm here at the world premiere of Marvel's Jessica Jones Season 2 to catch up with the cast on the red carpet. What was the most important thing you were looking forward to exploring in this second season? Season 1 was, was such a blast and it was so well received. So um, I really just wanted to like know more more and, and dig more and peel back even more layers. Season two, congratulations. I'm sure you're excited. Thank you so much. I'm as excited as any of the fans, if not more. As an actor, it's fun, man. It's amazing. Just to be a part of this franchise is incredible. And season two just sees all of our characters go deeper and darker. I always like the idea of a character that is, in trying to solve other people's problems, needs to solve their own lives. I'm just thrilled to see archetypes of female power. The experience of working with women on this show was just felt incredibly resonant. Oh, Kick-ass women, a few badass women. You get a badass woman doing powerful things, but there's also truth and depth and characterization that's explored, and I love that. What do you think Jessica's second job would be if she wasn't a private eye, had to give up alias investigations, what would she do? What did, what did other people say? Primary school teacher. She'd kind of be a great lawyer. Lawyer or governor. Assassin. And I think maybe she'd be in a rock band. I think she'd be great as a drummer. We got drummer. Drummer! Drummer. She'd open her own ice cream store. A chef. Nanny. Jessica would be a terrible nanny and a terrible chef. Oh, some kind of stylist or something? Obviously a photographer. Van Uncle Boxing, I don't know. <laughs> or, or maybe bouncer. She would be an excellent bodyguard. <laughs> I guess she could be like a bouncer at a club. That's weird. Some people said bodyguard. Okay, bodyguard. Kevin said bodyguard. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with bodyguard. Boy, what an awesome night. Now don't miss Marvel's Jessica Jones season two, now streaming only on Netflix. Oh, 
everyone looked great. They were so excited, dressed the nines. Oh, uh, everybody looked great. And that's not the only celebration going on. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. just hit 100 episodes. And I really love this. The cast has been sharing a ton of their behind the scenes moments on social media, including this image of a Cree getting a snack on uh, between takes, courtesy of our own Gemma Simmons, AKA Elizabeth Henstridge. Hungry Crees, nice. I also <laughs> love this woman who made these Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. nails. She really nailed it. Don't invite me anywhere. Oh. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> and this tweet I especially like because it kind of involves me. Uh, when you tell your friends you ship Felinda, and it includes an image from a video I co-produced with my friend Christine Din, featuring 10 favorite romantic moments where a bunch of cute stuff happens between Natalia and Henry Simmons. So just go watch. Just you watch. If she said someone other than Yo-Yo and Mac had the best kiss, I'm going to be upset. I did. Who'd you say? Uh... Phil and May. Felinda. See, aren't they cute? No, it's very fun. Man, listen, if Henry Simmons doesn't have a chance, what's the point? He's a dreamboat. <laughs> He is a dream boat. Um, but we actually caught up with Jeff Ward, who joined the cast as Deke this season, and I found out he is a huge Blade fan, so he stopped by, and we talked him into playing some Blade trivia with us with a ridiculous punishment. Just watch. So what we're going to do is we're going to play some Blade trivia. Great. I'm going to ask you a question. If you get the question wrong, you have to catch a grape with your mouth, because we learned on the internet that this is a thing you're good at. <laughs> All right. What is Blade's real name? His civilian name. Blade's civilian name. I know it. Curtis. It is. Eric. 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 Oh, I remember the mom calls him Eric. Yeah. Uh, okay, ready? Wait, yes, but I'm so ready for this. Okay, ready? Yes! Point saved. How does he become a half vampire? His mom was attacked by a vampire while she was pregnant and in labor. And he was brought to the hospital and given birth where his mom died because she comes back as a vampire. <laughs> what is his signature weapon? His sword. That is right. That other people can't touch because there's a little switch on it, and if they grab it and don't turn it off, it chops off their hand. Who directed the three Blade films? Can you name them? Uh, I know you know at least one. I de Blade Two, I definitely know because it's Guillermo del Toro, and he crushed it. Blade is directed by... Steven Norrington and Steven. David S. Goyer. Would you like a grape? Yes, I would. Would you like two grapes? Yeah, duh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> so <laughs> I good. can't believe I'm getting them all, this is great. What actor plays Hannibal in the Blade film, but also plays another Marvel mercenary? I'll give you a hint. My dress. <laughs> that would be Ryan Reynolds. It sure would be. Well, that was a good one. <laughs> what year did the first Blade film come out? Speaking of two decades, um, I'm going to say 99. Oh, so close. 98. 98. Yeah. Oh, man, that was really good. Thank but you, you get to have a grape. Oh, I do. <laughs> yeah, it's really exciting. Oh, you're so good at it. <laughs> it's so amazing. Okay, last question. What is the best scene in any Blade film? Great. That's such a good question. My favorite, I think, I think my favorite would have to be um, the nightclub scene in the original Blade, which is when they, the, the sprinklers have been replaced right, right, with right. the blood and they're all at a vampire rave. And then he comes in and he's in his dope black suit and, and the leather jacket and the sword. And it's great because everyone is so shocked. They're all like, it's him, it's him. <laughs> And then one of them just goes, come on, Daywalker! And he just absolutely, it's the best fight scene. I think we're gonna have to do a Blade rewatch. You guys should go watch Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on ABC Fridays at 9, 8 central. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> First off, kudos right? on some awesome Blade trivia because I love Blade and also mm -hmm. catching grapes. He's like, legit. he's really good at it. <laughs> he's legitimately good at grapes and he's legitimately good at Blade trivia. Like, who knew? So he can, uh, uh, he's a complete person. Oh. He's made it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> tell us what you guys thought of Marvel's Jessica Jones season two's world premiere, Shield 100th episode, and Jeff Ward's awesome Blade trivia on social media with the hashtag Earth's Mightiest Show. Yeah, and of course, tune in to watch Marvel's Agents of Shield Fridays on ABC. I'm Rain. And I'm Langston. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Hey, thanks for watching Earth's Mightiest Show. If you like this, please like this and subscribe by clicking in this place. Yeah, or click that box over there to watch our last episode. Keep up with all the 
Easter eggs. Do you still enjoy being a cool dad, or is that I'm going to enjoy being a cool dad. Hey, uh, invite knock, me knock. to your party. Um, invite me, please invite me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs>